everyone, I'm Pete Timoney, and today we're going to be talking about animating mouth shapes using phonemes, or phenomes, or one of those, and uh, switch layers. And using this technique, you'll be able to make your character say anything you want, even completely made up words like floor bit, or three sop, or cumberbatch. In any case, let's get started. Alright, so here we have Lemmy. This is the character we were working on in my last tutorial. And today we're going to be working on his uh, phenomes, phonemes. We're going to be working on his mouth shapes. Um, I'm going to pull up my phenome chart, phoneme chart. And here it is. Now, I made this chart. Uh, feel free to make your own or do a quick Google search and you can find lots of pre-made uh, phoneme charts. And uh, this is just for reference. Um, and I have the uh, basic mouth shapes laid out and a bunch that are optional, like this sick one. Might not need it. Tongue out. But these are the important ones. You've got your vowel sounds, your consonants, and some other ones here. What I'm going to do first is create a switch layer. And I'm going to call this mouth and then I'm going to create a new vector layer we're going to call this default mouth I'm going to drop it in there now I'm going to actually create it over here so you can see what I'm doing better and then we're going to move it and resize it so it fits inside here but what I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to go to my shapes tool and I'm going to do a nice circle shape. Make this black. Actually, up the opacity too. So, I'm just going to do a, a black circle. And that's going to be the inside of the mouth, the cavernous opening. And then I'm going to draw the tongue. So, for the tongue, I think I'm going to go pink. Just do another circle there. And now the teeth, I'm going to switch to the rectangle. And I'll put some top teeth and some bottom teeth. And now I'm going to create the uh, bottom lip. And for this, I'm going to go to my skin preset so it'll match here. So I got bottom lip and a top lip and using all this I'll be able to adjust this to make any one of these shapes that I want so first thing I'm going to do is grab all this and then I'm going to drag it over to here and it looks terrible but don't worry we're going to fix it so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add some points to, not to the teeth. I'm going to add some points to the upper and lower lips so that I can uh, bend them later. And what I want to do is I'm going to round out these corners. Now I'm going to hide these edges with uh, this is my hide edge tool. And I'm just going to pull this down a bit. I'm going to pull that up a bit. Let's bring that down so it's hidden. Bring that up so it's hidden. And we'll pull in this point a bit. And I think I'm going to need another point here. Let's bring that down. And pull that one in. And maybe I'll pull that up. Okay. So let's zoom in a little bit here. And you can see we got the basic line shape started. And now we're just going to fine tune it a little bit by lining up these two points. And 
I'm just going to use my uh, freehand tool here to just give a little this and a little bit of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is this A shape here. Let me bring this a little closer so I can look at it. I'm going to do this A shape first. Um, so first thing I want to do is duplicate my default mouth. And I'm just going to call it A. And now let's open it up. I'm going to zoom in so I can see the points better. And I got, I got this point. I can bring that up. Now, this bottom teeth, I'm just going to pull it out of the way. In fact, I might just delete it for this mouth shape anyway. So there's my A shape. Now, I'm going to refine this a bit by, whoops, grabbing these curves, bringing them in. And then I'm also just going to add to this one a little dimple right there. And I can adjust that line weight a little bit. There. Now going back to my default, I'm going to make another duplicate. And this one I'm going to call consonant. And this one's going to, this one's going to serve for a variety of our consonant sounds. So here's my consonant. I got both my teeth in there. So once again, we'll open up the mouth. And I think this uh, consonant sound, I'm just going to pull these points in a little bit. And there's my consonants. All right, so looking at this, I see consonants a bit lower than the uh, A sound, so I'm going to grab them all and just move them up a little bit. There we go. And that's how we do it. And we keep going down the list, looking at our chart. Let's do a couple others. Uh, some of them are easy, like uh, this O shape. So for the O shape, I'm just gonna I'm gonna duplicate the default mouth, make it an O. And now for this one, there's a lot of stuff here I'm not gonna need, so I can actually just uh, delete it. And I'll keep this and just bring it down. And with my freehand tool, I'll give it a little flare. So now I got my O. You know what? I'm going to take this little piece. Copy it. And paste it onto my consonants. There. Now, for some of these, you're going to have to adjust where these images lie, uh, bring some forward or back. So, for example, the uh, F sound, I'm just going to duplicate that A, make it F. And if we look at my chart over here, with the F, I like to have the uh, top teeth over come out a little bit above the bottom lip. So for this one, I'm going to pull the lip up a bit. And then I'm going to 
grab the top teeth with my select shape tool and hit the up arrow so now you see that uh, the top teeth are above the uh, the bottom lip and now I can take this little piece here and what I'm going to do is just rotate it this way and bring it up and now I got my F shape now once this is done we can animate it all by going up to window and switch selection make sure your uh, mouth switch layer is selected and on the timeline we can select for whatever sound we want and that's what will show up well I think you guys can take it from here uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time